Welcome to Stave Draws. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the vector brushes in Toon Squid. The reason why I'm using vector brushes in my animation is because sometimes I want to zoom in into the action. And when you use vector brushes, and you can find them in the brushes menu, you see it here in the category vector and there are several vector brushes you can use. I changed an, a Kyle Webster uh, ink brush into a vector uh, ink brush and you can, you know, change pixel brushes into vector brushes pretty easily. Just press on vector mode on and then you will change a pixel brush into a vector brush. So I'm using this brush to ink uh, one keyframe of an animation and just have to finish the hairs on this little character. Uh, this is Harlow Hippo, the love interest of Horace Hippo. And in this story, which is Horus Hippo in Egypt, she is a mummy who is revealed in this scene. And in order to you know, fill in the inks, everything needs to be closed. So you can really zoom in and you see that the line art is still intact. I used to uh, ink this uh, drawing just on, on the drawing itself. And I've made a palette for uh, all of the Horus Hippo uh, drawings I'm going to do or the animation of Horus Hippo because they're all the same. It's all in black and white. But I noticed that when you fill in the colors on the same layer, sometimes you get strange artifacts. Here you have the timeline, which has layers, but in each keyframe you can have different layers. So press on the layers tab then press on plus and then layer and just drag it underneath and what you can do is make this layer into a fill reference layer and what that does is that uh, the ink layer will become the reference to uh, the layer underneath so now you can use the bucket tool and have your inks and also your colors on different layers. And in this way you can, you know, color your image. And here's uh, a keyframe just before it. Just have to check if all the colors are right. And for the small things, you can also use the brush just to color it in underneath. So this is how you can color uh, ink lines and have it on a separate layer. And when you're doing the final inks, you can just turn off or just do the inks and then do the coloring. Or if you wanted to do it per keyframe, then you could just can turn it off. And if you uh, turn on your uh, onion skin, when you turn off the layers of the colors, when the, when the keyframes are closer together, you know, you can really improve your inking. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. I will do more videos about, you know, working on uh, this animation. This animation is for uh, a graphic novel I'm working on, which is called Horse Hippo Returns. And you can find uh, the first chapter of 
the graphic novel, uh, which is called Horace Hippo of the Silver Screen. It's available for free on Apple Books, and I'll leave a link below this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit that notification bell, because each time I upload a new video, you get a notification. Drawing is fun, and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles! If you want to learn more about Toon Squid, I've made a playlist. And just tap on the playlist and there you find all the tutorials and videos about working in Toon Squid.